Hello, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. In today's video... What? What? All right, well, as soon as I uh, finish this video, I will get the... Plunger. Plunger? What is this? Anyway, as I said, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. And um, in this video... Okay. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, plumbing. So make sure you subscribe so you can see what I have uh, in store for you next. Anyway, uh, all kidding aside, um, I'm assuming that you have um, experienced a clogged toilet, um, slow running drains. We just experienced that. I took care of it myself, I think. I don't know. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Um, slow, you know, drains, clogged things, uh, water coming out of places it shouldn't come out of. We've all experienced it. And we've also um, experienced um, that rush when you uh, go to your favorite search engine and look up something like a plumber. And um, sometimes when you uh, reach out to said plumber, the plumber answers the phone. Sometimes it goes to voicemail, usually in my experience. Or um, it goes to an answering service, which is of pretty much no use at all, unless it's a good answering service, and they can get the plumber to um, get his head out of wherever he's um, looking into or fixing and get back on the phone to call you. Um, it is it is sometimes challenging to find a plumber. And the uh, uh, franchise industry knows this, and I think that's why in the past... Uh, seven or eight years, several plumbing franchise opportunities have started to appear on the horizon. Smart move, franchisors. Um, I think that reliable plumbers are needed. There is a little catch though. If any of you have kids that are 15, 16, 18, um, have you ever asked them if they want to maybe have a career in plumbing? I'm not sure what the Fancy your career name for plumbing is um, water resource stoppage specialist clearer. I have no idea. Anyway, in all seriousness, um, there's a shortage of plumbers. You can just Google, is there a shortage of plumbers? And uh, you will see some um, very um, un unhappy data, some sad data. Um, not a lot of people want to become plumbers. Which to me is, I mean, it makes sense on a, because it's not a job that maybe you don't want, that you would want to do because of the smelly, you know. But, I mean, you can make 40, 50 bucks an hour easily as a plumber. I mean, it's a trade. You would have to learn how to do it. You might have to become an apprentice, depending on the locality that you live in, what the regulations are. There might be a union. Who cares? 40, 50 bucks an hour? That is good money. Uh, it might even be more. I'm not sure. But uh, whatever it is, it's not a $12 an hour job. Uh, does it require nights and weekends? It could. Um, you know, is it something that uh, has uh, legs, has longevity? Absolutely. As long as you're healthy, you can do the work. But how about if you can find a way to recruit plumbers and have a company where you are the owner, you don't have to do the plumbing. You have to do the managing of people, uh, ordering supplies, routing the vehicles. But can you picture owning a franchise territory that is big enough to support, let's say, seven or eight vans of yours all going out doing two, three, four jobs a day? Multiply that by the potential revenue. Um, I think there's a lot of business out there. And I think there's the potential for organized business owners with a system in place, <clears throat> a franchise system, um, to fulfill that need. I, I really think that, that there is a huge need for an organized, uh, uh, organized plumbing companies in, in your local area. Now, there are some pretty large plumbing uh, companies around here, for instance, in the Cleveland, Ohio area, but there are some franchises that are appearing and um, 
I think that they can do a really good job. The biggest problem with a plumbing franchise is um, the the industry outlook, and and if and if you know, the plumbing industry can convince enough young people to get into this trade because it is a trade and it is a needed trade. Below, you'll find a link to the top six plumbing franchises this year. I chose them myself. I think that all of them have potential. And if you're looking for a business where there is a huge need and you want to get paid to fulfill that need, check out the blog post that I wrote about it. Thanks for watching. I'm the Franchise King, Joel LaBop. Yeah! Okay! I'm going to go grab the plunger. Thanks for watching.